Hello everybody and welcome to lesson 18 solution of assignment problem using Hungarian method. Previously in lesson 17 we have discussed about how to solve or how to find the solution of assignment problem using enumeration method. The learning objective of this lesson is to find the optimum solution using Hungarian method for the assignment problem. So let's see the steps of Hungarian method. The steps of Hungarian method is uh, categorized into two phases, that is phase one, row and column reduction, and phase two, which is optimization. So phase one, row and column reduction includes two phases, that is uh, from the original matrix, we have, we have to identify each row's minimum and subtract it from all the entries of the row. And step two is from the resulting matrix of step one, we have to identify each column's minimum and subtract it from all the entries of the column. After the first phase, that is uh, column and row reduction, the next phase is uh, phase two, which is optimization. In phase two, there are uh, four steps. The first one is row scanning. When we watch, when we look the rows, each rows, if there is only one zero in a single row, draw a square to this zero and mark on the remaining zeros on this column. If not, that means if there is no zero or if the zeros are more than one, so we have to just pass it or leave it out. And step two is column scanning. Once we finish the row scanning, the next is column scanning. If there is only one zero in the column, draw a square to this zero and mark on the remaining zeros on this row. If not, just leave it out. Then step three is cover all the zeros with the minimum number of possible lines, with the minimum number of lines. Then after covering all the zeros with the minimum number of possible lines, then we have to count, we have to count the lines. And the number of lines, if the number of lines is, or the number of squares is equal to the number of rows, so optimality is already achieved. If not, we have to continue to step four, that is, identify the minimum value of the uncovered values, the uncovered values. So, using this value, add this minimum value to the intersection point of the vertical and the horizontal lines which covers the zeros and subtract this minimum value from all the uncovered cell values and prepare another matrix table having these values and put other values remain the same put other values remain the same then go to step one of phase two that is row scanning then followed by column scanning then Step three, cover all the zeros with the minimum number of possible lines. Then after, we have to count down the uh, number of lines and we have to compare with the number of rows. If the number of lines is equal to the number of rows, so optimality is arrived. Otherwise, we have to just reiterate these steps. Let's do an example for better understanding of Hungarian method. Solve the following example, a cement problem shown in the table using Hungarian method. The matrix interests are processing time for each man in hours. So there are five jobs, A, B, C, D, E, and there are five main, one, two, three, four, five. By the way, to solve this problem uh, using visual method, it is very difficult because the number of employees and the number of jobs are five. So just to match this uh, task with employees, it's very difficult using estimation or using a visual method. It is also, it takes time to use enumeration method as well because there are five factorial possibilities. That means 120 possibilities of assigning the employees to the jobs. So it is time consuming and very difficult to compare 120 possibilities. But it is easy to use Hungarian method to 
find out the optimum solution for this type of assignment problem. Let's start phase one, that is row and column reduction. Step one from phase one is row reduction. First, we have to identify each row minimum. For the first row, five is the minimum one, as you see, five is the minimum, so we have to put here. And for the second row, uh, three is the minimum, so we have to put here three. And for the third row, two is the minimum, and we have to put uh, here. And for the fourth row, seven is the minimum, and we have to put here. And for the last row, uh, four is the minimum, so we have to write here. Once we identify the each row minimums, we have to subtract the row minimum from their corresponding uh, rows. So when we subtract uh, five from 10, we get here five, five from five, zero, uh, 13 minus five, eight, 15 minus five, 10, 16 minus five, 11. And you can calculate the, uh, each row values uh, by subtracting the row minimum from the corresponding rows. And we get this matrix, we get this matrix. This is the reduced row matrix. Once we finished uh, row reduction, then the next step is column reduction. So before that, we have to identify each column minimum. So as you see, each column has zero values. Each column has zero values. So since each column has zero values, the column minimum is zero, 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 zero. And the column reduction reduced matrix become the same that is we just uh, subtract the zeros from each values so the resulting matrix will be this and once we finish the column reduction the next uh, is phase two that is optimization optimization so optimization starts with step one that is row scanning let's scan the rows so in each row, we have to find out one zero. If we get one zero, let's mark with a square. We get only one zero in the uh, row and there is no zero in this column. And this, in the second uh, row, there's only one zero and we have to mark with this. And in the third, okay, let's uh, cancel this one because it is found in uh, this column. Uh, when we see the third row, there are more than one zero, so leave it out this. And when we watch the fourth row, because the first zero is cancelled, so we, we only get one zero, that is this one. And we have to cancel all the zeros in this column, so we have to cancel this. And we have to cancel this uh, like this. Okay. And the next uh, task is to watch the last row, that is uh, the fifth row, there is no zeros. So we already finished the row scanning and the resulting uh, table will look like this. So this is just the, the zeros and this is also the zeros marked with a square and this is the zeros marked with a square. And the other shaded, the other shaded zeros are the, the zeros that should be cancelled. Now let's move to column and scanning. So uh, to do column and scanning, we have to watch all the columns, all the columns. So when we see the first column, there is no zero, there is no zero outside the highlight uh, regions. So we just pass uh, and look at the second column, and there is no zero, by the way, because these zeros are already scanned in the uh, row scanning, right? Already scanned in the row scanning. So we just leave uh, this zero. And when we see the third rows, the third rows, so in the third, sorry, in the third column, we get one zero. So we make a square and we have to mark X for this zero. And when we watch the fourth, there is no zero, uh, which is not highlighted. 
and when we see the last row there is no zero as as well the last column i mean the last column so the resulting matrix will look like this then now we have to just draw a lens or we have to cover all the zeros with the minimum number of lines so when we want to draw this let's draw uh, so we can draw like this we can draw like this and we can draw like this we can draw like this and we can draw either like this or like this so we can draw like this it's possible by the way both cases like this and the resulting matrix will be looks like this it looks like this so now now let's compare the number of lines the number of lines is one two three four there are four lines four lines have been used four lines have been used to uh, cover these zeros so to use uh, to, to check the optimality we have to compare the number of rows there are five rows with the number of lines so the number of lines is four and the number of rows is five so optimality is not achieved optimality is not achieved so we have to continue to the next step step four is just first to identify the minimum values of the uncovered value from the uncovered value there is 8 11 15 3 2 5 6 8 these are the uncovered value from this 2 is the minimum value 2 is the minimum value so we have to add this minimum value to the intersection point the intersection point of uh, the vertical and the horizontal point is this one is uh, one intersection point and this one is another intersection point and this one is another intersection point of horizontal and vertical length so in this uh, points we have to add this minimum value that is two and subtract this minimum value that is two from all uncovered values so eight minus two six we have to put six here 11 minus 2 9 15 minus 2 13 3 minus 2 1 2 minus 2 0 5 minus 2 3 6 minus 2 4 8 minus 2 6 so the resulting matrix will look like this so this is the resulting matrix so now we have to scan the rows first and then columns next then after we scan row and column we have to cover with the minimum possible lines now let's uh, scan the rows so in the first row we get one zero so we have to uh, draw a square and in the second uh, row we get one zero so we have to draw a square and there is another zero in this column so we have to mark x like this and when we see the row three there are two zeros so we have to leave it out without doing nothing and in the fourth row there are two zeros one two so we have to leave it out this as well and in the fifth row we get one zero so we have to mark this zero with a square and we have to cancel another zeros here in this column and now let's move to uh, column scanning in the column scanning when we see the first column there is no zeros unmarked uh, second column there is no zero third column there are two zeros so we have to leave it out uh, fourth column there is no zero uh, fifth column we get one zero so we have to mark with a square and we have to cancel this zero this zero and when we see uh, this column again we get a single zero so we have to just uh, make draw a square around this zero so we already finished uh, both row scanning and uh, column scanning 
Once we finished, the resulting matrix looks like this. So now we have to cover with the minimum possible lines to cover uh, the zeros. And then we have to compare with the number of rows. Let's cover the zeros with the minimum number of lines. So let's draw a line which covers uh, this zero and let's uh, draw another line which can cover these zeros and let's draw another line to cover this zero and let's draw this and let's draw this to cover this zero. Now we already covered all the zeros with how much lines? One, two, three, four, uh, and the other is horizontal line, five. So we have five lines to cover these zeros. So the number of lines are five and the number of rows are five. So uh, now since the number of lines and the number of uh, rows are equal, optimality is already achieved. So the resulting matrix looks like this. So it looks like this. And as you see here, as you see here, the first uh, job or the first uh, employee, the first job A is assigned to what? For the employee second, second employee. And job B is assigned for the first employee, the first uh, man. Job C is assigned for the fifth man, the fifth man, and job D is assigned for the third man, and job E is assigned for the fourth. So we just look at this uh, zero, these zeros, right, to know the uh, assignment, to know the assignment of uh, each job for uh, each employee. So now let's calculate. Uh, let's calculate the uh, time or the cost. So we have to just add, we have to add this 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 9 plus 4 equals 23. So the total cost becomes 23. 23 is the total cost to accomplish as these jobs. This is an exercise and try to do uh, by yourself and cross check with the answers because the answer is already provided here. This is all about Hungarian method. Thank you for listening and we will meet with another method that is an improved zero suffix method to find out the optimum solutions of an assignment problem next time. Till then, have a good time. Bye.